Hello, this is Anthony with Copley. Today I'll be discussing uh, teach mode, how uh, we can uh, interact with a motor um, by moving it, and then basically copy that profile that we create um, <clears throat> and command that same profile. Uh, so uh, like a, a teach mode and then a uh, you know play mode where we go back and play the profile that we just taught the robot. So here I have two uh, moves. I have this profile that I, I just have the motor disabled, the motor shaft, and I just spun it by hand. I just turned it with my with my hand, and then um, I hit a button to stop recording, and then the the uh, code, the CML code, replayed the same uh, profile. And so this way we can record a move, and then uh, later on. You know, we can record it in the first half, and then we can go and play it, um, play it back. Here's um, kind of a visual interpretation. So uh, we're going to be collecting positions over time using TPDOs. So uh, we're going to set the sync pulse to 10 milliseconds, meaning that every 10 milliseconds we're going to... Uh, some TPDOs will be transmitted by the drive back to us, um, giving the position. So we're going to get the actual position, 100 counts, 150 counts, you know, and then you know all these different positions on uh, all the axes, and uh, you know time is incrementing every 10 milliseconds when we get these this data, and then when we're done doing the teaching portion. Then we're going to go on to the PVT portion. We're going to command that same, you know, collection of positions down to all of the drives at once. It's called a PVT stream, and we're going to use a time constant between you know, each one of these points of 10 milliseconds because that's the time between each point that when we collected it. So um, that's basically what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to be streaming. Uh, position, velocity, and time values down uh, to all the drives on the network in a linkage move. So it's a synchronized move and uh, it's a very nice uh, feature that our products have. This is a code review of CML. So CML stands for Copy Motion Library. It's our motion control uh, source code. So CML can command an EtherCAT network or a CAN open network. So here we have uh, the number of axes for this example uh, is two. So we'll have two nodes on the network. Uh, we're going to be, uh, this is an EtherCAT uh, network that we're commanding. So we, we create a derived class from the TPDO class. So inside of this TPDO, we're going to define what will be in, inside of it. So under the private data members, um, we're going to have the, the objects that we're mapping to this PDO. So we have the actual position, the digital I.O., and then the actual current. So um, yeah, let's take a look at the init method. Inside of the init method, we pass the amplifier object, so the the, uh, the axis that we're um, or the node that we're talking to uh, for this PDO, and then the uh, slot number. So there are eight slots, and uh, we're just going to use slot number two. And um, yeah, so we initialize the PDO with a thing called a COB ID. It's an ID, a message ID for the for the network, um, and then we. Uh, insert the objects. So for EtherCAT you can actually um, you can put more data inside of a PDO than you could with a can open um, with a can open protocol. So um, with EtherCAT I think you can get up to triple digits for your um, PDO mapping. So right now we're mapping 80 bits to this PDO. We have two 32-bit objects, position, digital I.O. and then we have one 16-bit. Um, so can open can, can open can do a max of 64, but uh, either cat can do more. And then we, uh, yeah, we set the PDO here, and then uh, using the slot number, and then we return. 
So every time we receive the PDO, we're going to insert the, we're going to read the position and just insert it inside of a vector. And we're using a mutex for uh, data protection, for uh, thread safe. And then, yeah, let's go up to the example here. So, you know, first we're going to, you know, start the PDOs, do the teach mode, and then we're going to do the PVT. So we're setting up some settings here. So for the PVT object, we're going to use 10 milliseconds between points. Um, so the IP address, the adapter on the network that we're connecting to. We're going to open it and we're going to set up the uh, sync period for uh, 10,000 microseconds or 10 milliseconds. So every 10 milliseconds, the PDOs will transmit and will receive data. In EtherCAT, the um, the node, uh, the nodes are uh, given uh, addresses of negative numbers. So the first node gets negative one, the second node gets negative two, uh, etc. And then, uh, so here we're going to initialize the nodes on the network. We're going to put them into pre-out mode, initialize the TPDOs, and then start the nodes on the network. So that's what this, uh, this section does in a loop. So next we're going to create a linkage object. So all those nodes that we just initialized, we're going to put them into a linkage because we want all of them to move as one. We're going to ask the user to push any button on the keyboard to begin teaching mode. So then we'll disable all the drives and then we'll put this boolean value to, uh, to true. And then we will uh, begin recording positions. So when they um, you know, imp when they push another button, it'll stop recording, and then it will begin the PVT section. So first we're going to um, create a, a PVT constant acceleration object. So um, a few years ago, um, Copley developed an algorithm to uh, allow for constant acceleration for when PVT moves. So you give the drive positions and times between uh, the positions and then uh, this algorithm will give you velocities that produce constant acceleration. So it decreases following error when you're making your profile and you're executing your move. So we initialize this object with the number of axes and then we uh, will load all the points that we collected into this object. And then first, before we start the PVT move, we're going to move back to the starting position and then um, wait for that to finish. And then we're going to start the PVT move and wait for that to finish. And that's the code review.